Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. There's Porter. Um, down here by the Reggie Lewis Center. Doesn't look like a lot of activity today. And I think one of the reasons... I guess they had a um, glitch in their computer system. So... I think yesterday they announced that if you're 65 years of age or older, you can get the so-called COVID vaccine. So I guess a lot of people were trying to, you know, log on to the system. And the system crashed, I believe, 8 o'clock this morning. Um, people have tried to call in. And I think they were not able to book appointments. So it doesn't look too busy. It's, um, it's not as busy as it, sh it could be or would be or should be. But I just want to give you a little footage down here at the um, uh, Reggie Lewis Center. And this is like the third week, I believe. Like... When they tell you that there's um, shortage of vaccines, that's not true. They have plenty of vaccines. It, I don't know where the um, the information is coming from that there's shortage of vaccines. Because at the end of the day, when these guys are about to close up, um, sometimes they're asking people, do they want to get vaccinated, even if they're not the age that they say they're supposed to be. So... Because if they don't use those vaccines, they get wasted anyway. So if someone really wanted to get vaccinated, all they got to do is just hang around and say, hey, if you get anything extra, let me know. And I'm pretty sure they have quite a, quite a few. Almost guaranteed. Now they tell you if you're coming with an elderly person, you can get vaccinated. So it's, it's, a lot of it is... is it's exaggerated, you know what I mean? It's not... What they say and what they're doing is two totally, totally different things. Like, I know people who are, don't work in the healthcare business, are not first responders, um, and they got vaccinated. The, the first, when the first dose just came out. So, a lot of that stuff is... Um, it's, it's Like Donald Trump says, fake news. Trust me, fake, it's fake news. It's it's not as what they it's not as accurate as they're saying it is. And the, the shortage of the, sh the shortage, there's no shortage. They they got tons and tons of that stuff, just just sitting around. So it's not like it's a shortage. They do that to make you feel like you really need to get it, and hoping you'll be anxious to get it. And that's what they want you to do. It, it's it's about playing tricks with the mind. Just so you know, like I, I can speak for myself. I don't have to speak for no one else. I, <laughs> I myself, and I'm not 65 years old or older, got offered the vaccine twice and I turned it down. That's how I know. That's, that's how I know. So, now you can say what you wanna. I'm speaking from my own experience. Like I said, there's not that many people here. The first time they opened up, there was cars parked. Uh, let me see. Well, there are cars down there, but I don't know what those cars are. Well, they're not on both sides. So who knows where those people are? We'll hang around and see. But at least you can see there are, there are, there are spaces where you can park your vehicle. When they first had opened up, the very, very first couple of days, there was literally like nowhere to park. Like you couldn't find any parking on either side of the street. So those people could be in the school. We're not sure where they are, but we'll hang around for a little bit and see how many people actually come out. Just want to give you a little bit of footage of what goes on in the city. Now those those could be considered a trip hazard. Those things are protruding too far off the ground. 
And there's no trees in there too. That's the other issue. It's supposed, those are supposed to be for trees, supposedly. But um Like I said, it's not, I didn't see that many people come down here today. A few, but not a lot. The other thing I, I, I want to mention, it costs millions and billions and trillions of dollars to do research. And, not, and once they do the research, it costs another billions and trillions of dollars to produce the vaccine. Then it costs some more billions and trillions of dollars to, to distribute it. Now, if all that money is being spent who, who is paying that? Who's paying that tab? And then, to top it off, they're giving it to you for free. So, some people will say the government's paying for it. Well, if the government has all that money, then why have they not solved the problem of poverty and homelessness in the country? Because you're talking about billions and billions of trillions of dollars for the research alone. And the testing, you know, it's a lot of stuff involved in, in producing vaccines. You just don't concoct it one night and say it's, it's good to go. It's lost a lot of research, a lot of studying. If that's what they're doing, then who's paying? Because it's, it's not just two labs, it's like a whole team of chemists and you know, some of them are working day and night, night and day, studying, trying different equations, you know, different formulas. Sometimes they don't work, they change the formula again. So it's a lot. That's how you're talking days and, and days. You might not sleep for three or four days in a row trying to figure this stuff out. And if that's true, who, I want to say who is paying the bill? Who is paying that bill? And trust me, it's a lot of money. We're talking a lot of money. It's another person who don't know what flashing lights and siren means. If you hear a flashing light, oh, no, you can't hear a flashing light. But if you see a flashing light and you hear a siren, um, or you, well, maybe you could hear a flashing light. You hear the clicking on it. But if you if you see flashing lights and hear a siren, that if you don't know by now, it means get out the way. It means move out the way. And a lot of people don't know that, or they don't understand that. Or either they understand it but refuse to comply with it. So it's, it's kind of... And I think the problem is no one has gotten a ticket for failure, failure to yield to emergency vehicle. Maybe if they start writing out more tickets like that, maybe people will understand what it is, what it means. Like I said, uh, it's pretty quiet over here. There's not many people going in, and there's very few people coming out, which I only seen two people come out, and, and that was like the last 15 minutes. So it's not a whole lot of people coming in and out of here. It could be something to do with the computer crashing, where they weren't able to make the appointments, but you would think these appointments would already been made days in advance. If, if, uh, there's a big if, if it's so busy as they say it is, if it's so hard to get vaccines as they say it is,
I heard on the news, I think it was today, that some nurse or some, uh, I don't know what you call those people that give up the needle, were, were given the wrong dosage of the vaccine to people because they were so used to get, doing the Madura vaccine and when they did the Pfizer vaccine, it's a different dosage. And I don't know how that affects them um, as far as dosage-wise. So I don't know if they have to take another dosage over or if they got to get a balanced dosage. I don't know how that's going to work. But I guess a lot of people got the wrong dosage of vaccines because they were measuring it the wrong way. And that's one of many, many, many things that's been taking place. And who knows what else is taking place that we don't even know about. Like I said, this is this is pretty dead down here. You can sit there for half an hour and probably see maybe one or two people come out. Like I said, it's not a lot of people coming out of there. It's like a few here and there, you know, not a lot. Did, did you get your dosage of vaccine? Yeah. How was it, good? Oh, no, I didn't go yet. You didn't go yet? Oh, you're going to get it now, okay. He's gonna, he's gonna go get it now. And I heard, I don't know if this is true or not either, because I, I hear a lot of stuff, and everything you hear is not always true. I heard that they slip in some placebos, whatever you call those things, just to see how things work. So some people have gotten what they thought was a vaccine, which is not a vaccine, and they just want to see how people respond to a non-vaccine versus a vaccine. And a lot of it is psychological. So if you think you got the vaccine, your mind says, well, I'm going to be healthy, I'm going to be strong, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. But it's all a mental thing. How's it going? Are you going to get vaccinated? No, oh, okay. Like I said, it's, it's kind of like a, almost like a ghost town. There's not that many people out here. So it's, it's pretty, um, pretty, pretty slow. Compared to the first couple of days when they first opened up. Right now it's like... You'd be lucky if there's 15 people in that whole building right now, to be honest with you. There's probably more staff than you have... Um, citizens, I should say. So it's like I said, it's it's pretty um, it's pretty slow. It's not too busy, and it's been like this for the most of the part for the whole day. Uh, you can go down here early in the morning, mid afternoon to late afternoon, and see pretty much the same the same um, setup. Now, when they first opened up, I tell you, there was a lot of um, vans and like buses dropping off a lot of elderly people, which. Uh, one of the news reporters did key on that. He was like, if you all came from the same building, why didn't they just come to you? And and don't get me wrong, they have done it throughout the city in certain places. They have brought the nurses to the buildings of the elderly and made it a lot easier. Because if you're going to do a whole building and you got a hundred or something people in it, it makes more sense to come to the building than bring all the people here. And I think he says, I think he quoted like, was, isn't it easier for Moses to go to the mountain than bring mountain to, to Moses? I think those are the exact words he said. And he was like, he's right on point. I think he was one of the reporters from Channel 5, if I'm not mistaken. And he said that um, the first day they opened up, it would be a lot easier to bring Moses to the mountain than bring in the mountain to Moses. And a lot of people came from far, far away, like... Nowhere around here. They they were further away. Like the closest person I think was 
was mauled in a Medford or something like that. But all the other ones are like so far away. They, they would come from Needham, Newton, Wellesley. And it didn't make any sense that you were, you know, drive someone all the way across the whole city or almost half the state to come over here then when you could find a, a close location over there. So that that logic didn't to me didn't make any sense at all. Uh, and it still doesn't make any sense, to be honest with you. Like if you're coming from more than ten miles away, I think they should set up a cent center closer to you. And that's that's just you know, and they already have these centers set up. Like, just so you guys know, all these clinics, all these health centers already have the facilities for this kind of thing. So you don't really need a, a Reggie Lewis center like this to do that. That's It's all a publicity stunt. You don't need a Fenway Park to do all that. I mean, that's all publicity. That's all, like, to show in the media that we're doing this, doing that. But in reality... Like, people get vaccinated by the flu vaccine. They don't set up centers like this. People get vaccinated all the time, every year. And maybe more people that, that have got vaccinated already on a regular basis, just through their regular doctors. And that's, that's actually a fact. That's actually a fact. There's more doctors that, in hospitals all around here. You've got Whittier Health Center right around the corner going this way. you got Dimmick Center going up the street going that way. Um, going this way, you get all the Children's Hospital, B.I. Deaconess, Beth Israel, New England Baptist, all those hospitals up there. So you, you don't really need a center like this here. You don't, and honestly, you don't need that. And don't, I don't know what's the whole point behind it, but somebody came up with that idea to do it. And then going this way, you got Boston Medical going that way. You got Tufts, a whole lot of different hospitals going that way. Not to mention you got the Carney in in, um, in Dorchester. You got a, you got quite a few hospitals in this area, so you don't really need to set up a, um, a what do you call it a vaccination center. You don't really need that. I don't know if they're getting vaccinated or not, but they're definitely not 65 or older, so we'll find out. And I don't know what else that's opened up for. Like, I don't know what else that builder's open up for. I'm pretty sure they're not running track and field in there right now. I'm pretty sure. And this is the beginning of the... Um, this, the snowfall. We're gonna have allegedly six to twelve inches tonight, and it's supposed to be a snow emergency all the way into um, seven o'clock in the morning. That's what they're saying. So they're expecting they're expecting a pretty good amount of uh, snow. So we'll see what happens. They, they must be doing something else in there other than vac vac vaccines. Because I see people going in there that, that are not nowhere in their 65. So with this... Just want to give you a little footage of what goes on. And this is what they call the, the calm before the storm. They have to be doing something else in there that, that um, we don't know about because. Unless they open up the age to all people, I don't know.
he just pulled that door and, and she pulled it and opened it and he did it. He didn't open it. That's weird. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the snow is falling. Uh, it's just the beginning of it, but it is falling. So that means it's going to be a lot of car accidents on the road. Every time we have the littlest snowfall, we get multiple car accidents all over the city. And sometimes at the same time. And well, we'll see what happens on this one. If, they, if I see any, I'll be sure to report a few to you. I won't do all of them, but I'll do a few. Sometimes it's, if you do all of them, it's just, it's kind of like redundant going over and over and over again. So you don't want to do that. You want to, you want to kind of keep it to a, um, to a minimum. And the other thing that I noticed, they said too, if you get vaccinated, they still want you to um, social distance, wear the mask, um, all the good stuff. Let's see sure who there it is. Hello? Hello? Yes, it is, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. 